All right, we're back here with Chinese guitar number two, straight from AliExpress. This guitar was a long time coming. This was a custom. I actually put an order in with a guy over in China for this. Um, not too long after I got my NK, I put the order in for March 9th. Here it is, April 25th. It's like, God, I had to wait way over a month to get this guitar, but we're hoping that this is going to be a lot better than the NK. This was a custom. It's a red flame maple, it's a Strandberg style. Um, I chose everything, ebony fretboard, abalone inlay, passive pickups, um, basswood body. So we're going to crack this thing open here. And uh, hopefully the guy named James who I've been working with, you know, he talked to me about quality and all this. And, you know, hopefully he was honest about everything because I really don't want to have another NK situation. Again, we have the incredible styrofoam packing here. I'm going to try to not slice the guitar open. I found the secret to the stuff is just to cut it right in this crease here. And then the top should just lift out. I have one more NK guitar coming. Not NK, I'm sorry. Just a, another one from AliExpress coming soon. And then I won't be ordering any more Chinese guitars. This is going to be it for me. Um, as much fun as they are to play around with. They're also very frustrating. Um, my NK project is still underway. I have to get my quilt from China that just got here the same time that my guitar did. I'll be quilting my NK shortly. But let's take a look at this here. Well, open this up. Sorry, I gotta look at the camera so I don't have People complain, can't see the guitar. You suck at making videos. Oh, wow. This looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is nice. I'm looking at the camera here, and it's coming through as kind of an orange, but it's not. This is a really dark red. Almost like a crimson red. And you can see we have the abalone inlays. Make sure I focus in on this. Focus on the guitar. Wow. This is nice. Yeah, anybody that says that Chinese guitars, people can't make good guitars from China, I'm going to have to disagree. This looks pretty nice, but I'm not going to get overly excited until I start playing it. I mean, aesthetics are one thing, but how it performs and how it sounds is another. So, again, Red Flame Maple, Fan Fret. Um, I didn't really care if it was Fan Fret or not. They said they'll go ahead and do it anyway. I said, that's cool. It's got a multi-sectional neck here. It's laminated. It's not like my other NK. It's my other NK had a satin neck. This one is laminated, glossed, I mean. I'm going to have to sand that, just a light sanding, to get the sticky off it. Um, I was concerned about the heel here being too far away from the pocket, but... Yeah, it doesn't really... See, some of these things, I really wish they would shave this down, because it makes it get into the higher notes. A real pain in the ass. Um says EMGs. I'm pretty sure they're not EMG. Same thing with the NK three-way switch, tone, volume. I should have told them to not even bother with a tone knob. Because I never even screw with that stuff. It looks like a trans tram style bridge. I like this floating bridge. I don't like the um, bridges that they have on the groats. Those are, those are awful. The abalone. The abalone, if we get in here and look real quick, let me focus in. The abalone looks really good. They chose a lot of good pieces for the abalone. It looks like we got a little... Uh, looks like a little bit of the super glue is still left on there a little bit, but... Let's see this action. Sorry, I'm trying not to make another video where everything's all over the place. Um, action so far. Yeah, the neck feels good. I don't know these people telling me they're getting C-shaped necks and all this from Chinese guitars. 
I'm telling you, these necks are super thin. They're just like an Ibanez neck. They are super thin. Back looks good. This was basswood. But yeah, I can't wait to play it. This looks nice. So, stick around. I'm going to go have to break this in for a little bit, and then we'll be back with my uh, initial review. But uh, I'm not going to make like three review videos like I did with my NK. I'm just going to play it for a while, and then we'll we'll be done with that. So, be back soon. All right, guys, we're back. After playing this guitar for a few hours, just wanted to go over my final thoughts on uh, playability, um, aesthetics, price, you know, value, if it's worth the money, and all that stuff. Uh, just right off the gate, I'm going to tell you that this guitar blows the NK out of the water. I mean, <laughs> the NK is okay for the price, but uh, really this guitar is just so much better. Uh, passive pickups to me are really just so much more dynamic than um, active EMGs. The actives are almost like oversaturated uh, a little bit too much. And just to give you an idea, when I plugged this into the Behringer that I used on my NK, I actually had to crank the gain like way up because, uh, you know, passives aren't going to be as aggressive as actives. And to me, there's just there's a lot more dynamics you can get out of passives than you can with actives, which is why I wanted these. Um, I've been a passive guy for, you know, years, and the only guitar I have is my ESP that has EMGs, and I don't even play it. So, a few things. First of all, when I talked about the neck in the first part, um, it is a little bit thicker than the NK neck. It's not a C shape. It's kind of between a C and D. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the NK neck. Still really playable. Um, the ebony fretboard is great. I'm not finding any high frets. These guys really did their due diligence on the frets, and I made that clear when I ordered it. I asked them, really, can you guys just make sure you level the frets? Please, no high frets. Um, you know, make sure they're crowned and all that. And it came out really good. Um, in terms of cosmetically, I mean, if you look at it, the Flame Maple isn't, you know, top quality, but it's good enough for what I paid. Um, again, this was a guitar, I think it was around 360 maybe 380 I forget the price. It's been a month and a half since I bought it. Um, my major gripe about this guitar, which I'm going to tell you right now, is this bridge. Um, the problem with this bridge here is that when you want to tune it, you're going to have to use a hex wrench. These tuners are so hard to turn with your fingers that it's just not going to do it. Um, and they have a it's notched out in the back to use a hex wrench, so it's like those stupid groat um, trims, which I didn't know that. I thought it was more like a Steinberger uh, trim, which you could just adjust it with your fingers. Unfortunately, you're going to have to use um, a hex wrench to tune this, and it's very, 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 very fickle about being tuned. Um, it's not staying in tune right now because the strings are new, but I'm afraid that when this... Uh, during the time between now and when they stretch out, it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to tune this thing. But once it's tuned, uh, I think it's going to stay in tune fairly well. So, not real worried about that. Um, other minor gripes is that when I play, my hand hits the volume knob here. I'm used to playing up here. I'm going to have to lower this pickup all the way down so my pick doesn't keep hitting it. I keep banging my pick against the upper humbucker. Um, but again, like I said, these are minor things. There is a little cosmetic kind of a little bump I guess back there but I don't care it doesn't affect the playability and you can't see it so it doesn't look like crap um, other than that you know the guitar itself looks great plays great sounds great it's way better than my NK uh, definitely be playing this a lot more the fan frets or something I need to get used to but it's not anything that you know I'm worried about or I want to complain about so yeah this guitar really um, to me, like I said, I know that Chinese guitars can be good. I think this one has definitely uh, checked all the boxes when it comes to the price and what you get and how it looks and how it plays, how it feels. Definitely one of the better Chinese guitars I've had. So uh, if you need information about how to order this off AliExpress, I'll give the information and the link in the description. Uh, the guy's name is James. Really good about communication. I talked to him the whole month and a half that uh, I was having it built. He sent me pictures. 
Um, he asked me what I wanted, you know, and they just did really good. So, yeah, check it out, AliExpress. Um, like I said, I'll put the information down. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will be getting another uh, Chinese guitar here. <laughs> it's being built, so it could be another month. So if you're interested in seeing these guitars and upgrading them, playing them, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you.